Blight isn't a term most people want to be associated with, but some folks in the Marlboro neighborhood in South KC want that designation. It's a story you'll only see here on 41 Action News. Reporter Nick Starling is live to explain. Nick? Dia, we're at 77th Terrace where there are a lot of properties here in disarray. So the goal here is to keep people living in this neighborhood while dealing with some of those problem properties, creating a better life for everyone living here. We need our neighborhood to be better. It's a neighborhood Shiloh Newsom knows very well, and there's a lot he'd like to see changed. We need curves, we need sidewalks. Another major issue, there are numerous boarded up houses. Vacant properties has been abandoned. We had people off the streets living in them. It's concerns like Newsom's that neighborhood leaders are trying to fix. So they took action and asked the city for nearly 350 acres to become blighted in an urban renewal plan. Historically, Urban renewal is meant moving people of color and poor people out of a neighborhood, and we decided that we wanted development without displacement. The area stretches from 77th Street to 85th Street and from Truce to Prospect. It includes more than 1,200 properties. We picked the area that we thought was the the most needed. And city documents obtained by 41 Action News offer proof. 28% of the properties are vacant. And recently, there were almost 500 open 311 complaint cases. In this plan, there's also an incentive to fix up your house. If a homeowner invests $5,000 to fix it up, they can freeze their county taxes for 10 years. If big developers can take advantage of the systems that, that are in place for them, um, we thought we ought to be able to as well. While housing is the first step, the next focus is on transforming the center of the neighborhood. We can rebuild downtown Marlboro into what it was once upon a time as a real thriving kind of community. That's our hope as well. A grassroots effort sparking change in this neighborhood. The kind of place where people really do want to live. Uh, where they really want to thrive, where they really want to raise their children. City Council passed this plan yesterday, meaning it goes effect in nine days from now. And neighborhood leaders here hope that this plan maybe goes to other neighborhoods as well. Reporting live in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.